So now what we want to do is we want to get into some drive management. We want to do some disk management and drive management. And in your book, they talk about the MMC, the Microsoft Management Console. The Microsoft Management Console is like a big red Sears toolbox or a big red Home Depot toolbox or a big blue Lowe's tool, wherever you buy it. It's a big toolbox. I go into these stores that have big toolboxes and I get excited because I love tools. Tools are awesome. And I see the big toolbox is taller than me and I'm just, woo, we got to get this, honey. I need this, I need this, I need this. I say that in my head because she's not there because otherwise I know I wouldn't get my toolbox because I already have toolboxes. But I load it into the back of my Honda Civic. <laughs> I'm such a guy. <laughs> yeah, my big old truck called a Honda Civic. I throw that into the back of my Honda Civic, take it home. Look, honey, I got a toolbox. It has everything I need. And I open it up. And it's empty. Because big red toolboxes don't come with tools. Well, well, when I was a kid, they did. Because I found one flipped over on the side of the road. And boy, oh boy, it was full of tools. I grew up in Wyoming. And apparently somebody took a corner on this dirt road a little fast and dumped their toolbox. Well, we did the right thing and advertised it in the newspaper and all that. But still, I love big toolboxes. Same thing with Microsoft Management Console. Microsoft Management Console is a big red toolbox with no tools. Let's show you. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say Start Run. As soon as I find my mousey. There we go. And I'm going to say MMC. Oh, big red toolbox. Yeah, but there's no tools. Not a one. So what we have to do is we have to add some tools. And these are called snap-ins. Now there is a tool company called Snap-on Tools which are actually pretty good. So that's how I remember what the tools are. And oh wow, look at all of these tools that we have. And I can add even more if I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Device Manager and it says, do you want to do it on a local machine or another machine? I'll say local machine. I'm going to say disk management because it's awesome. I'll grab that and it says this computer, another computer, we'll grab it on this machine. I can do things like event viewer if I want. I can just add all sorts of really cool tools into my system. In fact, if I want to, I can even go in and add web addresses. Ooh, let's add a web address. What web address would we like? Oh, how about um, www.lifehacker.com, lifehacker.com. Yeah, but we're going to call that one M-I-C-R-O-S-F-T, S-E-C-U-R-I-T-Y, Microsoft Security. So you can call it different things. And what I'm doing is, is I'm populating my toolbox. Now, when I was a kid, my, uh, my father had a huge woodworking shop. He loved his woodworking shop. He had every tool known to man out there. It was like going to Sears, you know. And so I'd walk out there, and he would look over, and he would see me. And he knew who I was. He'd seen me before, seen pictures, you know. So I was authenticated. But if I started leaning over towards the table saw, or leaning over towards the joiner, or leaning over towards the router, <laughs> not authorized. Same thing here. You can see the pretty toolboxes, but you don't necessarily have permission to use the pretty toolboxes. And these are just pointers to the tools. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say File. We'll say Save As. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And we will call it Console 1 because that is a cool name. And I'm going to minimize Console 1. And here is Console 1. And I right click on it. I bring up the properties of Console 1. And I find out Console 1 is 151K in size. Well, 152. 152K in size. Wow. So I could set up a custom toolbox, send it to one of my junior administrators, and I could do it via email because it's 152K. Yeah, you can. And if I was on a domain controller, I could make a custom MMC, do the exact same thing, and it'll also be about 152 meg in size. However, if now on Windows 7, most of the machines are going to have all the tools that's in there. But if I go to, to a domain controller and I add Active Directory user computers, I add System Center Configuration Manager, I add this, I add this, I add this, all these things, the MMC, and I mail you the MMC, unless you have the underlying tools installed using something like RSAT, when you boot up the MMC and you try and click on the tool, it won't work. If you're not authorized to use the tool and you click on the tool, it won't work. So you have to have authority to use a tool, and you also have to have the tool installed 
on your machine for it to work. Now, we are going to be talking about disk management. However, we did a disk management snap-in, which is all fine and dandy. And it says, oh, we noticed that you have a brand new drive. Because I added it yesterday <laughs> between classes. It says you have a new disk. Would you like it to be a master boot record or would you like it to be a GPT? Because right now it is listed as being unknown. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say master boot record. And now it shows up as a basic disk. Now, this is disk management. This is disk management snap-in. But also underneath, uh, oh, I added device manager. I don't want device manager. I want something else. I want computer manager. Yeah. And we can say local computer, another computer, or I can say allow me to pick a different machine if I want. I'm going to say local computer, though. And I'll say OK. And if I go into computer management, you'll notice inside of computer management, I have the disk management MMC as well. So you can have the entire toolkit. Oh, if you get computer management, you get the event viewer and performance manager and disk manager and service manager. Or I can just take individual pieces and add those as snap-ins and create a console just for my junior admin. That's what I can do. So if I don't want them to see everything in here, I can go in and I can say computer management. We are going to remove that. Uh, Microsoft Security, which is actually Lifehacker, which is a really good website. I'm going to remove that. Event Viewer, we'll remove that. Device Manager, we'll remove that. And now your console looks like this. This is all you have, just disk management, because you are just to manage the disk. That's all that it is. That's all that it is. So. How do I keep them from adding additional snap-ins and do all this other stuff? We talk about MMC modes. This is underneath figure 3.4. And the MMC modes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my actions. And actually, I'm not going to go into my actions. I'm going to go into options. Underneath options, we have this. This is where I can go through and I can say the name of it. For example, I can say disk, M-A-N-A-G-E-M-E-T, toolbox. I can give it a different icon if I would like, but down here we have the console mode. Author mode means you can change stuff. You can add snap-ins, remove snap-ins, change views, move back and forth, point it to other computers, all that stuff. I don't want my junior admin doing that. So I can go down and I can say um, user mode. User mode, you can't add snap-ins and you can't change snap-in properties, but everything that's inside of that snap-in, like if I did computer management, they can go in and access all that. Or I can go... Uh, limited access, multiple windows. That means that if I don't have a part of a window that's visible, like it's not already expanded, you can't expand it. Or I can even go all the way down to user mode, limited access, single window, which means only the active window is something that you can use. And then I just say, uh, allow the user to customize the view. Nope. And I can say, don't save changes to the console. I say, OK. Then it is what it is. You can only limit down what you can do. So this allows you to have the different modes. Make sure that you are familiar with which one is which. Remember, user mode, you can't add snap-ins. Limited access, you can't add snap-ins. And if you have certain things that are expanded and certain things are not expanded, you cannot expand more. But you can move between this window and this window and this window. Limited access. If this is the window that's open, that's the only window you get. Even if you can see all of these, this one's the one that's open. This is the one you get. you got to be kind of careful here, though, because you're going to be teasing them. You're going to be saying, look at all these cool tools, and if I liked you more, I'd let you use them. <laughs> so be cautious.